All right, it's Andy again, and uh, I forgot to mention something in my last video about databases, so I'm gonna do another video just on how to check and edit your databases on your computer, or make sure that you have information being written to them properly. Um, first thing you're gonna need to do is actually get your database file. Now, since you can't do this on a phone, or unless you have a rooted device, I, I believe you can do it with a rooted device, but let's say, you're developing on um, uh, your normal regular phone and it's not rooted or anything like that real easy way to do it is to get it from the emulator since the database stuff isn't really going to be dependent on um, you know having a phone or a tablet or anything for the most part you can do this straight from uh, from the emulator for, unless some of the information you're saving to are like GPS points or something like that that might be important but um, for this tutorial we're just saving you know simple text files and uh, ID for each one so how do you get this file um, and that's where I started to go into uh, Android device monitor real quickly but uh, you need to know the directory that your your databases are saved to so real easy way to figure this out is click on your emulator over here and then click on the tab on the top that says File Explorer. Uh, scroll, open up data, data, and then here are all the apps that are, that are installed on the device. We're gonna get uh, the one that we are currently using. So that's gonna be this one, the database tutorial database. Open that up and then databases, open it up and boom. This is the database that we um, we named it so if you remember if you watched the, the previous video uh, in our helper database helper we named our database people.db so that is right here people.db now uh, we can pull this straight from the emulator without uh, any special permissions because we have on this directory read and write permissions right here uh, this won't be read and write on your device you have to edit these permissions and uh, you'll need root for that so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this file so if we hit this uh, button here uh, that saves a copy of the database to our computer we can also send in or inject the database but we don't really want to do that um, right now we'll just grab it and I'll save this to desktop to make it easy and I won't even rename it and the next thing you're going to need is uh, a database editor. There's plenty of them. Um, you don't really need to, uh, it doesn't really matter which one you get. Just grab one um, that can view uh, SQLite databases. So we'll close that without saving. So here's our database file. So I installed an editor earlier. So we can see that here's our people database or people table it's got two columns of person ID and person name um, I should have three names in this one since I, I just wrote to it so uh, in this editor I'm going to try to figure out how to actually view the data so Okay, so this probably wasn't the best program since I can't really figure it out. <laughs> um, but you, if you grab yourself another database um, editor or something like that, you should be able to see your, your the data that you're saving. Um, blog preview. No. And... Maybe I need to open it. I thought I opened it. Mm. All right. Well, I can't really figure this out. Oh, so this is for running queries so that you can see. Um, 
I guess if I type in a SQLite command in here, I can actually see uh, the information. Um, I wanted actually something a little bit simpler than that, where I can actually just uh, see the information that I've saved. Um, oh, here we go. So, person ID and the names. So, there you go. This is a good way for you to uh, make sure you are saving the information you want to save and what it looks like. So, hopefully you like this tutorial and uh, check it out. Alright, have a good day.